हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम मिसलिनियस टॉपिक्स इन जी यूनिट विच कैन बी यूज टू राइट द टेस्ट केसेज मोर एफिशियंटली ओके सो एज इन आर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस कैलकुलेटर क्लास इन विच वी आर हैविंग कपल ऑफ मेथड एड सब सब्रेक्शन देन मल्टीप्लाई एंड देन डिवाइड सो वी आर सिंपली क्रिएटिंग द इंस्टेंस ऑफ दिस कैलकुलेटर क्लास and we have written these particular test cases in here so first of all let us discuss about the first topic which is nested test cases okay so nested means that like uh, this is the class okay we are having j unit test and in that we are having multiple test cases so what you can do is you can wrap some kind of test cases in a single class so that way we can do it let me show you how to do like uh, in here i am having couple of uh, test cases like these four test cases are related to addition only positive positive value negative positive uh, and then negative negative and then zero uh, addition with zero and then i am having the other two test cases multiply and divide so what i want to do is i want to wrap these particular test case into the single unit so that like uh, it is more clear that um, in this particular thing only addition test cases will be running so how we can do this like there is one not a notation nested okay so i have put this at the rate nested here and then we need to create a class okay and then uh, like let me named it addition tests okay and uh, we can wrap this part these uh, test cases whatever we want in a single unit so this is the nested uh, unit Uh, and this is the new class i have created inside this class okay and in this are all our addition test cases are present so let me run it and show you how it will look like uh, so as you can see all our test cases got run okay and like this is our class j unit test in which we are having the divide and multiply test cases uh, at the bottom and then we are having some four addi addition test cases so it has created these uh, nested test cases as addition test which is the name of this particular class which we are nesting and then in the, here there are four uh, test cases so yeah like uh, this is a very simple thing and we can use uh, whenever we are writing the test cases and like couple of test cases if they are related to the same functionality then we can configure it that way okay so this is about the nested test case now let us discuss about one more thing which is lazy assert so lazy assert like in our previous tutorials also we have discussed about uh, if we want to give some failure message on any assertion okay so this is the assertion and if this assert equal will fail then we can give like we can say uh, assertion failed for addition okay so we can say this okay message but as i have told uh, previously also there is one more method we can pass a expression of lambda also here and uh, this way whenever this test will run then it will only uh, consider this particular message whenever this will fail okay so this is the like lazy assert we can say we are doing in here and uh, whenever we use the expression to define the assertion message then it is known as lazy assert so we can say that so it it is also a very simple thing lazy assert okay now let us uh, see one more thing which is conditional execution so like there are uh, some couple of tags uh, which allows the user to uh do the conditional execution on the basis of some conditions so let me show you one thing like we are having this divide test case okay and if uh, my requirement is that that i i only want to run this particular test on a particular operating system so for that what i can do is at the rate enable on os so you can see it is by jupiter api condition uh this tag is provided and in here i can give os so if you see like there are a um, lot of um, operating system they are providing linux windows aix then mac other solaris let's say if i want to run this particular test case on linux only so i can define it enable on os so this is the conditional execution on the basis of this condition that if os uh, on which you are running the test cases is linux then only this test will run so let me show you how it will work because we have provided this enable on os linux only so it should not be run on windows as this time we are working on window so yeah like uh, our class got run so it has ignored this divide test case and it is saying the test passed 5 ignored our fun so this is the way like we can uh, define uh, the os on which we want to and if i define windows here as our 
current system on which we are working is windows so it should be running in that case so yeah all our test cases got passed and this divide method also ran so this is about the enable on os okay i have provided the windows and then there is one more thing let me tell you like uh, as part of this conditional execution that is assumptions so this is also provided by the jupyter api assumptions so in that we can do like there are couple of methods assume true assume false and assume that so what we can do is uh, let's say if we are working with some test case and we are having some condition so we can put in here and it will assume it to be true so if you provide assume true then our condition in here should be true then only this test will be executed otherwise it will not so let me show you one simple thing uh, let me uh, let me create a boolean which is a uh, need need to divide so i am giving a simple name need to divide so let's say uh, I am having this boolean and in this particular test case I have provided this assumption those assumptions uh, assume true then if I provide this need to divide in here so this is true for this time now let me run the test cases again and see what will happen so are all the test cases got run in here okay divide also run uh, now let me make it false for now and let us see what will happen now so see our divide task is got ignored because uh, we are assuming that uh, whatever condition we are providing here should be true then only this test case will be passed or uh, executed we can say otherwise it will be ignored so this is the basic conditional execution i was talking about okay uh, let me remove it for now and then let us proceed to other things let me remove the enable on os also okay so uh, as we have discussed about three things till now first one is nested test case then lazy assert so as we have discussed about the conditional execution uh, now let us uh, discuss about one more thing so there is one more tag i want to tell you which is a uh, repeated test okay so this repeated test what will it will do is it will repeat your test cases the number of times you want okay so let me for now provide it in as three so like as i have provided the repeated test uh, and value three now let me run this uh, class again and let us see what will happen uh, so if you see like uh, j unit executed this divide once and then it has also done the repetitions okay so if you see repetition one of three repetition two of three and three of three so it is also telling we are having the repetition first repetition then second repetition then third repetition and like how you can use this uh, repeated test case so sometimes uh, we want to run a single test case uh, in different condition multiple times so for that it is useful when uh, to use this repeated test case and one more thing in here is like there is also one interface which is provided which is repetition info so let me uh, create a object of it then info so i have instance um, like i am passing it as a argument in here and then info dot it provides the current repetition so what we can do is i am telling you the scenario in which we can use this particular um, tag so info dot current repetition if this particular is equals to let's say two then you want to execute this particular divide assertion else you need to let's say for now we need to divide some other values okay uh, let's say it is 10 by 5 let's say 20 by five and then expected will be now let make it two now so that so that it will be failing the repetition will be failing also i have simply provided the at the rate repeated test annotation here and then i have given this repetition number how many times we want to repeat this particular test case then i am getting uh, this repetition info in this particular method as an argument and then i am doing uh, things on the basis of the current repetition number so it will give me the number uh, on which repetition it is present the test case so let me run it so if you will see then uh, our test cases got failed and as as i have told that repetition two of three got passed because uh, we have provided this info get repetition and we are asserting true like uh, two is the expected value and divide what this uh, divide will do is it will divide uh, 10 by 5 okay 
so it is the simple thing uh, we are doing in here and uh, if uh, the current repetition is not true then our test will be failing like first is failed because 20 by 5 equals to 4 but it is expecting as 2 so this is the thing in here so yeah uh, that's all for this tutorial guys if you are having any question related to uh, these small topics then you can mention it in our comment section so thank you